Uh, let's talk about the minimum difference between largest and smallest value in 3 move. So you are given an integer arrays and you need to choose one element inside the nouns and change it to any value. And then afterward you have to return the minimum difference between the largest one and smallest value inside the arrays. So this question is a, a really, it's a little bit challenge because you should be able to know, I mean, if this array is given sorted or unsorted, right? So the first thing is going to be sort. You are going to sort this array because uh, if you don't sort it, then you don't know how many moves you have to make. So uh, you will get two, three, four, and five. So in when the num stop lands, it's actually less than equal to four, right? So you can actually change any number to any other number. So so I can say, okay, I want to change my other value to three. So I would say three, 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 right? So now the minimum difference between the largest and smallest value is actually equal to zero, right? So this is supposed to be easy. Now, uh, another one, uh, this color. So one, one, five, zero, ten, and fourteen, right? The sort value is going to be what? Zero, one, five, ten, and fourteen, right? Now, uh, here's the problem. Uh, we are supposed to know that like, zero and one should be the smallest one, right? And then 5, 10, and 14, you can change the last three to, to 1, right? Or, or also to 0, right? Doesn't matter because the difference between 0 and 1 is actually 1. Alright, this example is too easy. And then, so the main thing is what? If the array, if the array is supposed to be what? It's supposed to be this one. Let me give you 6, 6, 0, 1, comma, 1, comma, 4, comma, 6. So if the array is like this, right? And then you want to sort this, it's going to be 0, 1, 1, 4, and 6, and 6, and 6, right? So, uh, how do you actually know uh, what number you want, to, you want to change? Because in this question, you can actually change the first three, not the last three, right? You can change the first three, uh, first three numbers to 6. So how do you actually know it? So you need four comparison, four comparison. This is because you want to know uh, the compares comparison between the um, minus 1 should be the last index, minus 3, so should be this one. This value, you, st you have to start from this value, and then you, you need a plus i, so i, so this is index i, right? So you want to keep comparing this value with this value, right? So you have to minus, again, numbs i, right? So basically, this is supposed to be actually really, really, really tricky because you want to find out the first three and the last three, right? So you want to compare this value with this value. And also, the next one, this value with this value, right? The next one, this value with this value. So now I know the first three value. The minimum difference between the first val first three value inside, uh, inside this, right? But I also need the last one, which is the last three comparison. So if I have this value with this value, I sh I should supposed to know is my first three value is supposed to be the smallest change or the last three value is supposed to be the smallest change, right? So six minus okay, four minus zero should be the first one, which is four. Six minus one, which is five. But we need to keep the minimum, right? So minimum is still four. I'm going to just write on the mean right here. All right, now again, uh, 6 minus 1, again, is 5. 6 minus, well, it's actually 2. So this is supposed to be in the mean. So we know the last three shouldn't change, and the first, first three should be changed. All right, uh, here's the code. I'm going to just write down and nouns. And then if the arrays are length is actually less than equal to four, right? The difference between the any number is actually equal to zero because I can change any value, right? And I need the return value. I'm gonna say equal to max value, right? And then I need to traverse four times, right? So zero to zero to three. So the result will be what well, max up mean. You need to return the minimum, right? So it will depend on one. Uh, depend on num stop name. So this is supposed to be a, uh, a minus one should be the last index minus three, 
So it should be should be right here for for example it should be right here, right? Um n should be five. Five minus one is four, right? Four minus three is is actually one, so it should be index one. And for every single index you need to increment, right? So plus i and you need to subtract the noun set i. So this is supposed to be like the comparison between one and five. Okay, sorry. Uh, this is not sorted, so you want to sort this value, right? Okay, let me just quickly just draw it. 0, 1, comma 5, comma 10, comma 14. All right, now you need to keep comparing, right? So 1, 1 with 0, right? Uh, 5 with 1, 10 with 5, 14 with 10. You find out the minimum and then you will be able to understand. All right, uh, let me submit. And here we go. So uh, this is the solution. So let's talk about time and space. This is going to be a time. This is going to be a time. But this is supposed to be unlog n, n represent the length of the noun, sorry. And space is going to be a constant. And this is the solution. And this question is a little bit challenging because if I don't know like the comparison for this one, right, I, I shouldn't be able to understand how to solve it. So this is a little bit better way just to just go straight to the solution and then to see what other people do and you will be able to save a lot of time and yeah again time is an organ space is constant and i will see you next time bye